Hey there designers, Adam here from Messenger Bag Media. I'm excited to share with you seven keyboard shortcuts when working with guides and grids in Adobe InDesign. Let's jump into it. The first four shortcuts I will demonstrate allow you to show or hide your guides, grids, or baselines. While guides, grids, and baselines are all super useful alignment tools, it can sometimes be helpful to turn them off, take a step back, and view your product the way that it will be viewed by your end user. Remember, we don't design for grids and columns. We design for humans. So it's always important to look at your product from a human perspective and make any subtle adjustments needed to ensure your design feels natural. First, how do you turn on and off your guides? Guides refer to column structures and ruler guides that you've created in your document. As you can see in this simple three-shape design, everything is aligned perfectly to my guides and is technically even. To hide guides on a Windows computer, you'll use the shortcut control semicolon. On a Mac, that would be command semicolon. I'm on a Mac, so I'll use the shortcut command semicolon. Now, having removed my guides, I can see that although the shapes are technically the same size, the circle looks a little bit smaller when compared to the rest of the shapes. To compensate for this, I'll enable my guides, make the circle a little bit larger, and remove the guides again to see how it looks. Perfect. While not technically all the same size, the shapes look much more even and natural. This is why it's always important to turn off your guides every once in a while and look at your design subjectively and make any adjustments needed. Next, let's look into showing or hiding the document grid, which is that gray background grid that looks almost like one of those pieces of grid paper you would have used in math class. To toggle on or off the document grid on a Windows computer, you're gonna to wanna to use the shortcut Control apostrophe. If you're on a Mac, that will be Command apostrophe. Returning to my document, if I'd like to enable my document grid, I can use the shortcut command apostrophe. And as you can see in this specific layout, it's a little bit distracting and unnecessary. It takes away from my ruler guides that I've created. So to remove it, I would repeat that shortcut command apostrophe and the document grid disappears. Now, what if you would like to turn on or off your baseline grid? Baseline grids can be super useful when working with type layouts. To show or hide your baseline grid on a Windows computer, use the shortcut Control Alt Apostrophe. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command Option Apostrophe. To check that my images and text are all lined up on the baseline grid in this mock article, I would use the shortcut Command Option Apostrophe to turn on the baseline grid. Yep, looking good. Finally, what if you would like to enable or disable your smart guides? Smart guides are those pink or green guides that appear as you move an object around on your page, indicating whether or not you are lined up with another object or centered horizontally or vertically on the page. To enable or disable smart guides on a Windows computer, use the shortcut Control U. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command U. As you can see, if I move this object around in my document, I'm not getting any alignment indication. This means that my smart guides are disabled. If I use the shortcut Command U, you can now see that my smart guides are active. It's important to note that you cannot turn on smart guides if you have Snap to Document Grid enabled. So what is Snap to Document Grid? Snap to Document Grid means that objects will automatically align with the gray document grid previously mentioned. To enable Snap to Document Grid on a Windows computer, use the shortcut Control Shift Apostrophe. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command Shift Apostrophe. As you can see, if I move an object near a grid line, it will automatically snap in alignment. If I repeat this shortcut, Command Shift Apostrophe, the object no longer snaps to the grid and moves past it freely. What if instead you prefer your object snap to other guides, such as your columns or custom ruler guides? On a Windows computer, you would use the shortcut Control Shift Semicolon. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command Shift Semicolon. As you can see, if I drag an object close to a ruler guide, it automatically aligns with it. If I repeat this shortcut, Command Shift Semicolon, it no longer snaps to the guide and moves past it. The final shortcut that I will share with you today will teach you how to lock or unlock your ruler guides. If you spent the time to create custom ruler guides on your page, you don't wanna be accidentally moving them as you adjust objects in your layout. To lock your ruler guides on a Windows computer, use the shortcut Control Alt Semicolon. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command Option Semicolon. As you can see, the ruler guide no longer responds to my cursor. If I change my mind and want to adjust my guides, I can repeat the shortcut Command Option Semicolon and adjust it freely. 
Well, I hope you found those seven keyboard shortcuts when using guides and grids in Adobe InDesign helpful. And let us know in the comments which shortcuts you found the most useful. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking to expand your skills as a graphic designer, videographer, or photographer, check out our channel or this video right here. Perhaps your media needs are a bit greater than you can manage. Messenger Bag Media is your one-stop media shop. We serve businesses large and small and everything in between. If you're looking for graphic design, photography, videography, web design, or any other service at an unbeatable price, check out messengerbagmedia.ca and let's create something great together. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.